sway. And majority of the problem in this world is because of this division and deceiving that religion before Moses and then after, after Jesus, the, pe uh, the people that before Jesus, that the, the, whatever they believed, they try to deceive and misguide and do not let Jesus do his job. And at the same time, when Jesus said to the Bible that Muhammad will come, they hide and they destroy that statement from the Bible and they hide that true Bible so nobody else can read it. So they can have their own interest and money in laundry stay in the church. Okay, so the all right. J just a right, moment. Just, okay, just a moment, please. I have to stop you briefly because you've made a lot of assertion which Brother David and myself uh, do not agree with and we'd like to speak to. And I'm going to give Brother David a chance to do just that. But before I do, let me just point out one glaring inconsistency in what you said. You're, you're trying, just as most Muslims in the world today, to somehow justify your irrational hatred and fear of the Jews. This small group of people, 17 million in the world, 1.5 billion Muslims, I can't imagine why Muslims are so terrified and hate-filled of the Jews, except for the fact that you're following the example laid down by your prophet, Muhammad himself, who hated the Jews, who beheaded 700 in one day of Banu Qurayza, who uh, killed uh, Jewish poets who wrote about him, Listen, you just said that the Jews refused to believe in one God. Nothing could be further from the truth, sir. As a matter of fact, in the time of your prophet Muhammad, when he was still a polytheist, still bowing down to the 360 gods and goddesses in the uh, Masjid al-Haram, the Arab Jews were worshiping one true God. And by the way, sir, why don't you study your Hadith and your Quran and your Sirat al-Rasul Allah, and you will find that your prophet Muhammad went first to who? He went to the polytheists, they rejected him. He went to the Jews, hoping since they believed in one God, that they would believe in his religion of one God. And they who believed in one God rejected this polytheistic worshiper who comes with this new message. So you are misrepresenting the truth entirely. Brother David, I'm sure, would like to speak to many other things that you said. Brother David, are you with us? Brother David, did you hear our caller's uh, words? Yes, I did. Would you like to mention some of those things? Because if you don't, I will. Go ahead if you'd like to speak to what he just said. Well, first of all, you can see the hatred. You can, Absolutely. You can, you, can, you can feel his hatred towards the Jews. Everything is the problem of these few million Jews around yeah. the planet. Yeah. Uh, that's why when we look on the news, we see, we see Muslims... Uh, engaging in terrorism, trying to blow up Times Square, taking down the Twin Towers, doing all of these things. Muslims are doing it because, because of the Jews, because of the Jews. <laughs> uh, and so there were problems with the Jews during the time of Moses and problems with the Jews during the time of Jesus and problems with Jews during the time of uh, Muhammad. And that's why all Jews need to be exterminated, according to this man. Uh, w what he doesn't seem to get is... Uh, during the time of Moses, you had Jews who rebelled, and you had Jews who uh, were, were, were faithful during right. the time of Moses, and right. so on. Uh, there, there's always a remnant. Sometimes that remnant is very small and just a few people. Uh, but you always have, you always have, in the Old Testament, you have uh, a number of Jews who rebel and a number of Jews who are faithful to Yahweh. But guess what? This isn't true just of the Jews. This is people in general. Go to the Germans, go to the Romans, go to the Arabs, go to anyone. There are always some people who are willing to submit to the one true God and a ton of people who don't want to submit to the one true God. You don't point to Jews and say, they're the only group that are like this. Everyone's like this. Every, gr every people group is like this. What you don't do is say, therefore, you slaughter all of that group and annihilate them and kill them and have a massive holocaust to do away with this group. You don't do that. And think about this. How would he react if we said, uh, look, look, during the time of Muhammad, there were a bunch of polytheistic Arabs, and they were resisting, they were resisting the message uh, of the Christians and the Jews. And then many of them resisted the message of Muhammad. And you go today, and many Arabs are, are, are killing people and calling for jihad. Uh, we just need to wipe all of these Muslims out. What would this man think about that? He would find that utterly ridiculous. And yet, 
That's exactly the reasoning he uses against the Jews. Look, Jews, there have been Jews who rebelled, therefore slaughter all the Jews. Uh, do you see the irrational, absolutely irrational hatred? Mm. Uh, and he was actually irrational on every level. Think about it. The, the, the Jews corrupted all the biblical mention of Muhammad. Well, my friend, that's not going to work. Why? Because during the time of Muhammad, when the Quran was revealed, Muhammad said that they find Muhammad mentioned in their scriptures. So this isn't saying that it was corrupted and that the, the, the references to Muhammad aren't there. No, the references are still there during the time of Muhammad. Guess what? We have copies of the Bible, both the Old Testament and New Testament, that predate the time of Muhammad. So you can't say the Jews corrupted when Muhammad said that the references are still there. So what we have here is this. Muhammad says, uh, if you go to the books of the Jews and the Christians, you'll find all kinds of uh, references to Muhammad. People go to those books, and there's no references to Muhammad except as a false prophet. He's a false prophet according to Moses, according to Jesus, according to Paul, according to all of, uh, all of the Bible. So Muhammad's a, fa a false prophet according to these books, and so Muslims have to blame someone. Why aren't there mentions of Muhammad? And they have to say, well, it must be because the Jews, the evil Jews, remember Jews are the ones who do everything bad in the world, the Jews did it. They, they corrupted the text. Well, that doesn't make sense. We have, follow me here, follow me here, my Muslim friend. Muhammad said during his time that the, the books of the Jews and the Christians contain references to him. That means that they were in the books. They hadn't been corrupted. They hadn't been changed by the Jews. They were still there. But we open those books, and they're not there. The the conclusion that you should draw is that Muhammad is a false prophet. Muhammad said that there's going to be something there, and it's not there. You don't, what you don't do is say, ah, well, the Jews must have corrupted it. You can't say that because Muhammad said it's still there. So just to give you an example, suppose I come to you and I claim to be a prophet. And I say, hey, if you go down to the Hudson River, you'll see a big sign that says, David Wood is a prophet. Believe in him. Now, suppose you go down there, and there's a big sign saying, don't believe in David. He's a liar and a deceiver. What you don't say in that situation is, oh, well, Jews must have corrupted the sign. No, if I tell you something's going to be there, it had better be there. And if it's not there, I'm a false prophet. Don't believe me. But what, right. what, what the situation is with Muslim is, Muhammad says all kinds of things, and it's never there. The conclusion to draw is he's a liar and a false prophet. But Muslims don't want to say that. And so, as they always do, let's blame the Jews. Mm. That's all they do. Very good, Brother David. Thank you so much. Is our caller still with us? Debate on, on the TV, and then we will see who is right. If you don't see an investigation, I want a debate between a Muslim and a Christian. And I want you to go get the best one of yours, best, all your scientists from mm. all the religion that you know, Bring them, I want to, if they can bring one sentence like Holy Quran, one, not 20 sentences, not 20 pages, and there's only one sentence. Somebody once claimed, I wrote 20 pages. In the first page, they found 2,000 mistakes. While he's claimed that you cannot even fit 2,000 words in one page. They, they found 2,000 mistakes. You, the God, is a strong and a strong and a strong. When he speaks, he stands on his, on his word. He says, if you don't believe in me, to talk, told Muhammad to tell us, if you don't believe me, then bring all the scientists of your time and bring one sentence, one sentence like it. And I surely, surely, I stand here and tell you, you and the whole world of scientists, if they gather together, and with the computer that we have today, they cannot challenge God and bring one sentence like it. That's why Holy Quran is stand, shine over all the other religion, and will stand to support all the other religions. Okay, sir. Before. Okay, sir. All right, just one second. We're going to have to go to a break, but before we do, it's very interesting to me that your Quran is so perfect, and your Allah and your religion is so perfect, and yet Christianity is larger than Islam, and also...